Let's read First Corinthians. Are you looking at Corinthians chapter We read maybe chapter two. A Corinthians chapter two. Chapter two. Let me read from this. It says, We speak wisdom. However, among them that are full grown, yet a wisdom not of this world, nor of the rulers of this world, who are coming to naught. But we speak God's wisdom in, in a mystery. Amen. Even the wisdom that has been hidden which God foreordained before the words unto our glory, which none of the rulers of this world hath known. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, things which I saw not, and ear heard not, and which entered not into the heart of man, whatsoever things God prepared for them that love him. But unto us God revealed them through the Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. For who, who, for who among men knoweth the things of a man, save the Spirit of the man, Amen. which is in him? Even so, the things of God none knoweth, save the Spirit of God. But we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is from God, that we might know the things that were freely given to us of God, which things also we speak, not in words, which man's wisdom teaches, but which the spirit teacheth, combining spiritual things with the spiritual ways. Amen. Now, the natural man receiving not the things of the spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. And he cannot know them because they are spiritually judged. Amen. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I was reading this verse, but I just want to understand what I want to talk about. All the things that I'm reading, I'm just reading but to bring to the point that I want to talk about. We seem to be in the dark until we understand that God is the revealer of things. You know here, the understanding that was given by Paul was there are things that we need to know. Things that we need to know. Which we are given in the spirit. Freely knowing them. And also things that we know in the flesh. That the spirit in us know those things in the flesh. Do you know that there's nobody who knows you better than yourself? Because the spirit in you dies everything that is around your flesh. So also we're supposed to be knowing the things that we are freely given. And because of that, this make us to be always arrested in our souls. And you find that we cannot serve God the way we are supposed to serve. So now I want to take you to the verses that I want you to look at them. So keratoli samola de vesengche la ni kinya kali rati rato di levelel. If you look at this verse, Ali kali bela vesi. Verse twelve. Verse twelve. But we receive not the spirit of the world, 
but the spirit which is from God. That we might know the things that were freely given to us. Tell your neighbor, say, you have received the spirit from God. To bring knowledge. So that you know the things that you have been given freely. Uh, last year I was talking about you need to fight for your soul. If you know the things that you are freely given by the how, Spirit of God, how, there, there are some battles you will never fight. You will have a free spirit. Your soul will be saved. Can you just write, mind about your soul? Because that verse is but we have received. Not the spirit of man. That makes us to know things in the flesh. We need to know beyond what is happening in our flesh. And this will make us to be saved by God. And will save our soul. I don't know if uh, you understand what I'm trying to say when I read this verse. You know, if the Bible says, but, it means many of our focus was in the flesh. We didn't get revelation of understanding things that were freely given to us. Therefore, can you set your, your soul free? And you serve God. Mind about your soul. Don't mind about things. Because there are things that you are freely given. If you know whether them, whether they are not coming or not, you won't be disturbed. Tell them, but even if they delay, you won't pray about them because they have given to you. Do you know why many of us will be lost? It's because we don't know things that are pertaining to us. Like now I'm here. I know my ministry. So I have to focus on my ministry. I won't lose my soul. The things that makes you to worry, to get things, and they are not coming to you, whatever, whatever. It can make you to lose your soul. Mind about your soul. Mm -hmm. Mind mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. your soul. Mm -hmm. The best way of minding about your soul is mm -hmm. when you know things that are freely mm -hmm. given mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. Let me give an example. Mm -hmm. uh, let, let's get four people here. Four people. Mm -hmm. All right, five. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing one, two, three people. One, yes, you people, you are five. Go there. Ah, now you're six. All right, come. It's All right, let's call this one. You are a Christian. Come. This one is a Christian. Face that side, brother. Face that side. Let's call another Christian. Uh, this Christian. He doesn't even have a jacket. This Christian is suffering. This one. this one is having a jacket. Is, I mean, this, can you see this one? Huh? Let's get three of you. One left. You, you're a car. You're a car of this man. You're a house. 
You, you are another car. We now call you a woman. You, you are a shake. Come. We now mukuk. You are shake of this. Ki mukuk wata hatula. You are shake, Baba. Li mukuk. So look here. Which Christian here will worry too much? Ki mupulo so mufia tavile lang kudu kamata. This Christian will always worry. Mupulo so tadula vila ela. And this Christian will think. Is better than this one because of all this. Because remember that whatever happened to a Christian is also coming to be a test to that Christian. A house. A car. This one, your Mercedes. Mercedes. This one is a BMW. BMW. A shack. Can you face each other? Face each other. Come here, face each other. Can you talk together? Say, how are you? Fine. How are you? Can you see they are talking? Can you look at this one? See here. The reasons why you people complain, you end up losing your soul. Because you are looking at each other, but you are not looking unto God. Look at this thing. If you look at this one, this one will say you have shake. This one is a mention. This man is bound to worry. Some people, they have good things and I don't have. But look here. If this man knows that these things they're still coming to him. He won't even worry about his staying in a Our challenges we don't know the things that were freely given. It needs a revelation for the sake of our soul. So that he must not pray for this. He must have peace of God even o when he says this. How many of you are hearing me? God bless you. So, one of our mistakes is we are losing our souls because of things. Because when we look at each other, this one is heavy money. This one is heavy money. But we don't mind about our souls. Tell our mind about your soul. But a spirit of a man, if it's dominating on you, not the spirit of God, that spirit will make you to show you you are lacking this in the flesh. Lacking that in the flesh. But if it is the spirit of God dominating you, you will see beyond the flesh. And you won't worry because you know you want to, your soul to be saved. Let me show you another scripture here. Tell me say, my friend, Mind about your soul. If we read this one, how In Luke 23, Luke 23, 22. Verse 22. Luke 23, 23, 22. You can read maybe to 30. Read. At that time he said to them, Why? What wrong has he done? At that time he said to them, Why? What wrong has he done? I have found no guilt, no crime, no offense in him, demand, in him demanding death. Therefore, I will punish him to teach him a lesson and release him. But they were insistent and unrelenting, demanding with loud voices that Jesus be crucified. And their voices began to prevail and accomplish their purpose. Pilate pronounced sentence that they, their demand be granted. 
and he released the men they were asking for who had been thrown into prison for insurrection and murder but he handed over Jesus to their will when they led him away they seized a man Simon of Cyrene who was coming into the city from the country and placed on him the cross to carry behind Jesus following him was a large crowd of the people including women who were mourning and wailing for him but Jesus turning towards them said daughters of Jerusalem do not weep for me but weep for yourselves and for your children for behold the days are coming when they will say blessed are the barren and the wombs that have not given birth and the breath breast that have never nursed then they will begin to say to the mountains fall on us and to the hills cover up cover us listen to this uh, going to the cross of our lord jesus christ it was a test for a four groups here the first group was, was influenced by jealousy. And they could not see their saving soul. They shouted, crucify him. Crucify him. The second one was Pilate looking at his position. Pilate, when he was trying to save his position, he was tested also for his saving soul. And he said, no, I, I, no, I still want my position. Let me offer him. The third one is the daughters of Jerusalem. Who could not understand why Jesus was going to the cross. And Jesus said, do not cry for me. Cry for yourself and for your children. But the last one was a Christian. This man, he carried the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. He carried the cross. Simon of Serene, he carried the cross. Simon of Serene, he He was not even afraid if they can change and crucify him there. All others, when we look at their response, you could see that it was for selfish reasons. The first one's jealousy was a Because many times when you come in a group, and when you start to stand together in a group, is to, to fight another group. group but the second one was position. Many people, they lose their soul by defending their position. But the third ones, when Jesus looked at them crying, he could see beyond their tears and say, it's better you cry for yourself. Because you are crying for me when I'm crying for you. Sometimes there are some people who don't understand why they are crying. Their soul is lost. They need to understand the revelation why Jesus was going to the cross. They could rejoice. They could accept Jesus. There are many factors that affect you. 
and make you not to mind about your soul. Be careful that you don't mind about your soul. Because of a group. Number two, because of a position. Number three, because of a selfish reason. Are very, very important. Most of the time, you know, we need to know that if we can carry the cross of Jesus daily, challenges will come. challenge to challenge us. We challenge The pain of that cross on our shoulder. shoulder. Determine our destiny for our salvation. The pain you are going through is a test. The pain you are going through is a test. Of showing if you are minding about your soul. How many of you are minding about your soul today? Are you minding about your soul? There are things that you will never do in life. You want different things that will never mind, that will never affect your soul. What I want to talk about in this last world now. Yeah. You know, his positions. Position. Where Jesus said to Pilate. Pilate, Pilato, you don't know me. I won't see me. If my kingdom was of this world, my father will send soldiers and try to defend me. But you, you don't have a greater sin. Aona esitulo sisi kaone. Palate. Pilato we. You still have chance to repent. Monyeta wa usukulu wa una liwaona. Bible says when Palate hear the Jews shouting the Bible. If you don't crucify him, you are not a friend of. You are not a friend of Caesar. Kwa uba polo wena suwe na mochote muera wa Caesar wa Kesar. You defend his position. Yena liko sirolecha si mosagai. Be careful that. You stand with the wrong higher authority. For your recognition. Be careful that you won't stand. Authority. To maintain a wrong position. Many people are doing that. They just want to be defended. But they stand with the wrong people to maintain their position. I can rather suffer with the people of God than to enjoy sin for a little time. Listen to this. Majority is not our way of doing things. Majority is not our way of doing things. Mind about your soul. Mind about your soul. Listen. Even when you are with God and you are standing against thousands, you are majority. One of our problems today is we don't mind about our soul. I want to show you what happened to Stefano. When one stone hit his head, it could not distract his focus. Because you see, his soul inside makes him to be steadfast to where he is going. He knew very well that there is life after death. And he understood that his flesh is like his clothes. These are clothes here. But they are clothes upstairs. Many times we don't want to see anything that will distract us. 
Stefano said, Stefano are, when the stone was heating up, I would rather take my eyes to him. He didn't start there. When they start to make noise and accusing him that is worthy to die, the Bible says he looked up and heaven was open. He began to talk what he sees. If he looked at them, he would see anger, strength, and it will affect his faith. The response from people to your own feelings can make you to take a wrong decision. Your response your response when you look at the people feelings can make you to take a wrong decision. I don't want to talk too much but I want to read this scripture. If we read Mark 8, Mark 8, these three verses, 33, 38, 33, Jesus was 38, teaching, yes. He said what? 33, but turning around with his back to Peter and seeing his disciples, he rebuked Peter saying, get behind me, Satan, for your mind is not set on God's will or his values and purposes, but on what pleases men. Carry on. Yes. Carry on. Jesus called the crowd together with his disciples and said to them, if anyone wishes to follow me as my disciple, he must deny himself, set aside selfish interest, and take up his cross, expressing willingness to endure whatever may come, and follow me, believing in me, conforming to my example in living, and if need be, suffering or perhaps dying because of faith in me. For whoever wishes to save his life in this world will eventually lose it through death, but whomever loses his life in this world for my sake and the gospel, the gospel's will will save it from the consequences of sin and separation from God. For what does okay, it... Okay, okay. You see, that, that verse you want to read, everybody knows it. Okay, let's look at that verse. Uh, that that verse you know, th this morning, I saw a vision that Le, really frightened me. In that vision, there was nothing I can say except to say, Jesus! Jesus! I saw the clouds coming down. When the clouds come down, I was still saying, the clouds, what's wrong with the clouds? I heard, it is the end. You know, this hell you are talking about is not far from us. Have you ever found something like earthquakes? Just happened like earthquakes. this. You know, but this one is like something has to be erupted in front of you. And another one is erupted behind you. So the moment when I was still looking, I began to see something being opened like. When I looked this side, I found some people were falling inside. And then when you fall inside, you have to say, ah! And I will go ahead and listen to the Mayawa Tamil Mulo Monchar sound. And then from there, when I'm looking, I began to feel myself going towards hell. And I began to say, Jesus! I called Jesus twice. I found myself standing somewhere where there was nothing happening. 
And then, can I say this to you? If Jesus says it's over now, yeah. Just like that. Without even thinking. This thing happened very fast. I don't know if you're hearing this. I'm just saying this because of these scriptures and what I was asking you. What is a Christian? Mama, read verse 34. Read verse, listen to verse 34. 34. Yes. Jesus called the crowd together with his disciples and said to them, if anyone wishes to follow me as right, my listen, disciple. Listen, he says, if anyone wishes to follow me to how be my disciple. To, that's what, uh, okay, carry on. As my disciple, he must deny himself, set aside selfish interest. Stop there. He must deny himself so, and set aside selfish interest. Interest. I don't think many of us are Christians when we read that verse. If we say Christianity must be issues of our selfish interest set aside. And take up his cross expressing willingness to endure whatever may come and follow me, believing in me, conforming to my example in living, and if need be, suffer, and perhaps dying because of faith in me. You heard For that? Suffer, what I share, or dying, because of me. That is Christianity for you. Suffer, not offering, not offering, suffer, not tithe, business, no. business. suffer or die. You know, here you could hear that suffer or die because of me. Read it again, read 35. For whoever wishes to save his life mm -hmm. in this world yes. will eventually lose it through death. Listen to this. I want to tell you something that I want you to go and investigate. Can I tell you? When God loves you, before you die, you must be sick. In that sickness, you are being tested if when you are suffering that pain, you still say, no, no. For the sake of what? Of yourself. If God loves you, don't, don't die by accident. If you die by accident, be a Christian who is ready to go. I don't know if you are hearing me. I don't know if you are hearing me. I get some alento. Listen, because by the time when you are in pain, there's a time when your body cannot feel pain again. Where you find that your mind is bringing things that you know, you're, you are just your mind just bringing things that you believe in. When you are confessing Christ, in that pain, whether you are healed or not, you go to heaven. Your soul is important. If God loves you, you, you must be sick. Don't wake up being dead. I don't know if you are hearing me. Tell me if God loves you, die with sickness. Don't say you won't be sick. Don't say you won't die, but there has to be a situation when you are in hospital, then your mind is about what? Thank you, Lord. Thank you. 
If I die here, I want to come to you. I'm going to go and I'm awake in your good day. You are minding about yourself. I will. Think you're, you're, you're in the hospital. Na no lispetel. When you're in the hospital, you are sleeping on top of a body. I will lispetel. Urovicho di mwa chelete. And there are some things you are you are hiding there. And I wanna let you know she should be fit to live. You are telling people so. You see what? Vujavatori. My girlfriend must not come to hospital. Girlfriend ya kaya na iskaba ya hata. My girlfriend, you know you are in hospital. Usipetel. You are telling my friend, please. Make sure that my wife must One not come. Sadi aka sekaba ta. If she knows and your God, your voice Ziva. cannot come. And the voice you wanna hear you will learn. My friend. What? <coughs> I don't, I don't know what will happen. Mm, kitsi buta di alange. Call my girlfriend. I'll give it two thousand. She must not come here. Um, mucho, mucho girlfriend. Okay, um, okay, nyoko mucho kita mfatu ta askama atra. My wife does he know? Masadi aka tsebi. And you are here. And you. Do you think Satan is not close to you? Aun na ano ayu kupula mar Satan ora uru house. Satan is just waiting for you to breathe your last. Satan ono emela feloro heme wa mafelel. But when you mind about your soul, you just say, You are feeling pains, but you are singing. Oh, hallelujah! You are, you are singing in your heart. Listen. Don't ever think people who are sick and die they are sinners. Oskaba na ano roba ba thoko falang ba luala kwa eza divi. Whoever die is not weak than you. Baba thoko fetching asita ba yor ne ba lebu ku ofita le nani. His people, his way. You must mind about you yourself. Forget about people. 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 God will never accept you. If you try to save yourself, you know most of the time when we are sick, family normally come. Eh? Mm. It's not true. Hello. Hello. If you want to see that family sometimes, they they decide, let me be sick. And my wife, she's around. You begin to hear someone says, Hello. Hello. I want to take my brother to this hospital. But he doesn't have money. He, he, he want her to pay that money. There will be fights, fights, fights. Listen to this. As long as you are still hearing in as yourself, as you say, never allow Satan resist the devil and he will flee for the sake of your soul. What is important is your soul. I'll give you an example of what I did. I want to tell you what example what I did. And that's why I'm teaching this slowly. That's I want you to hear, hear it. Because of the vision I saw yesterday. When me and Mama, when things were very tough, when no one was supporting, I turned to my wife. I said, Mama, Mama, What is important is not blessing because I'm a pastor. I said, Mama, what we need to do is if we die here. I mean, there's no man who will live hundred years. And enjoy life in a hundred years. I said, Mama, if we die here. We must go to heaven. So what we need now. Let's stop praying for things. And build up our relationship with God every day. Every day. Every day. From there. I began to have revelations. Revelations will never come. Until your mind is set at of the things of God. The Bible says, set your mind unto the things of God. Where Christ is. So when your mind is there, now you are on the same level with Christ. Communication start to build up. I don't know if you are hearing me. I don't know if you are hearing me. Listen. We are not minding about our source. We are not minding about money. Where to get it? Which business? Which friends? 
Let's stop these things. Ake ngeritwe leng diluche. The church was less than 83 years ago. given, not fulfilled. Prophecy cha ona di bolelwa di sapital. And I was say, Mama, we must not look at prophecies. We must know the Bible says. Are to bring our Bible here. As to live is Christ. We are now pilaki Christ. And to die is gain. And we shake our hands. And we carry on. We even forget Christmas. Can I tell you this? Many people who think they know us, they begin to show us on TV. We have forgotten. We have forgotten. We have forgotten. We have forgotten. Because if you mind about your soul, those who think they will assist you, when you are going down, they run away. It is a better time of preparation. And when God is preparing you, you He's a jealousy God. He doesn't want them. He allows situations to happen so that we prepare you for the better assignment. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Allow God to do His own when you are doing your own. I don't know if you hear me. Allow God to do what? His own. Don't look at this. If you know things are freely given to you, you won't fast for them. Can you fast for the things that you have been given? You know, I, I'll give an example. I'm sometimes worry a lot. A Christian must always know he will be filled by the Holy Spirit. You don't pray to be filled. You must know a Christian freely given. But look what is happening to us. Going to mountain. Going to Freely. Something that we've been given. A child of God freely blessed. You are searching for blessing, going up and down. Just settle yourself with trust. Freely given. You are a child of Abraham. You are here in the kingdom. Abraham was rich, you are supposed to be rich. Freely rich. Freely rich. Freely rich. Some things we are praying for is like we don't know God we are saving. Okay, let me give you another scripture. We close. Tessa, ask your neighbor, are you minding about your And the friends say what? Ask your neighbor, are you minding about your Are you minding about If we read James 1 21, Jacob 1 21, putting all what? Uncleanness. Uncleanness away, all faithfulness and overflowing of wickedness. Receive with meekness the implanted word, and which is able to save what? Your soul. Amen. In other words, feeling, passions, desires, appetites. All these things need the word of God. If we are Christians, let's stay in the word. Let's stay in the word. The word of God, when it's implanted on you, is able to save you. Do you know that? Especially you, especially you pastors, and Christians who matured, you can be tested in soul winning. Wherever you go, you must speak the word. Preach about Jesus. When people question you, that's where you are rated. How far are you in the world? 
you know, when person was asking and say, I mean, what's the difference between Mandlozi and Dimo? Yeah, Mandlozi, ancestral spirits, and, and Dimon Kid. Sometimes Christians are questioning this. I was telling you, I was telling you, I was telling you know, you find Christians are questioning things that are in the Bible. You hear what I'm trying to say? All answers are found in the Bible. The word of God. And that word of God will make you to save your soul. I will tell you the meaning of saving your soul. The more you know the word, how can you say in your the test of that word will come to you. The more you know the word, the test of that word will come to you. Your response matters a lot. If you are sick, you have to quote scriptures. Someone asked me and say, how is I supposed to go for operation? I say, yes. No, but I may know you, dear, my operation. What are you Says, Therefore, we have to go to Sangoma. I say, no. I say, do you know the meaning of a Sangoma in we, English? We are which doctor? Can you separate these two words? There's a doctor. It means it's a doctor who's using it's a wrong spirit. You know, some people will come with questions and questions. Listen, if you believe God is a healer, you must be sick. But your response to the word you have received against the sickness you are encountering shows you are mature and you are saving yourself. Are you listening? 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 I don't know if you hear what I'm going to say. Like it's 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 if you believe God blesses, how do men or women come into a shul? Poverty will come your way. Lack will come your way. But like poverty, they are searching for the word you have received. Don't blame yourself. Why I'm poor? Why is that? No, 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 no. Whatever that is happening. Because of the word you have received. Listen, the Bible says the word that Bible you have received. Temptations came because of the word. So you, you can save your soul by responding the word, the word to the situation. Just as I say, what is happening to you? And what is the verse that corresponds to the situation? We are experiencing things, but we don't know the verse that corresponds to it. Always Satan take advantage when we have got some ignorance. I want to tell you today, Satan will leave you. I say he will leave you today. I say he will leave you. Look at this man who was very rich. And the Bible says he filled the bands. He get a great harvest and tell himself. And say, my soul, this time. Ah, rest this time. Because say you are a fool. Because automatically, if he might have done that, the first thing was to run out to give. But he told himself that I have arrived. Can I tell you this? Whatever that goes through your life comes your way are searching for what you know in the world. You need to stand in the word. When you see a verse, thank you Lord. I must share. Don't say soul. God will require that soul. Mind about your soul. There is no exchange of your soul. Nothing on earth can change and exchange your soul. What is it that the man can give in exchange of your soul? 
If you want to say, I no, told you last time that the Bible says two will be sleeping on one bed. One be taken, one be taken. Two be taken. We are rubbing each other. Two. On one bed. Two will be taken. One will be taken. One will be taken. Makarini is going. Makarini is going. So, on one bed. Even when you are married. Mind about yourself. Marriage is a gift from God. Your soul is above marriage. Don't allow a gift and a life and you try to compete them together. Your life is more important anything that comes to attach with you. I'm praying for you today that your eyes will be open and your understanding will be enlightened. Whatever that was darkening your understanding will leave you. So that Satan will never take advantage of the revelation that God is giving you. Because many of you today, you are lost today because of the things that are happening around you. I'm praying that blessing must come your way in Jesus' mighty name. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Let me give you the last scripture with us. I've been talking here too much. This year I said, I'll give you scripture, we talk too much. That scriptures we talk. Mm. Let me just give you this one. Yeah. If we read Proverbs 21, yeah, my 21, 23, we close. You fool. Your soul is required. When I sit down, look at this story of the rich man. Who said, if one can be sended there from death, my brothers won't accept Jesus. But if one from death can be sent there, and tell my brothers, Abraham says, sorry, there is Moses and the prophets. If they can hear them, even if we send someone from the church. And what was good about this man was when he died, he was buried. You know, most of the time when you die, people look at, is it casket? Is it casket? casket? Sin was buried. But he found himself in here. Found himself in here. Let's stop try to rob each other. Let's not waste our time. I told my wife when I come here, I'm no longer my wife. And you, I'm no longer your husband. I told her that when we reach here, on your own. Because one will be sleeping on one bed. Two will be sleeping on one bed. What about you and your boyfriend? Who sleeps sometimes on one bed? The Bible says, these ones will be sleeping on one bed. Continually, but one will be taken. You read that verse, Baba. The one I told you. Just read, we close. Because many times we are rubbing each other. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. How many years you love? 45? How many years? 50? How many? How many? 70? There is eternity. Where are you going to spend your eternity? Thousand years in heaven. Thousand years in heaven. Here we are trying to rob each other. I love you, you are beautiful. There's nothing like beautiful. <coughs> when I look at you, I see flour machine. It's craziness. I, 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 I,
I mean a yellow bowl. What is a yellow bowl? Yellow bowl. Are you crazy? Wow, there, there is white bone and yellow bone and blue bone. Yeah. Can you just read that verse with close? Proverbs 21 verse. 23. 23. He who guards his mouth and his tongue guards himself from troubles. Can you just read that with... Is it amplified? Yes. Read with King James Version. Okay. I mean, marriage. Ah, marriage. Ah. Marriage must not rob me. Friends Friends must not rob me. This thing will come to an end one day. Whatever happens to you, it's an assignment from God. You are being tested. Hold to it. This thing must not rob you. You are robbed by Maria, Joseph. You are, you are robbed. You are forgetting that very soon here. There will be a tombstone. Here, very soon here, there will be a tombstone here. Where are you going to spend your eternity? Can you read in King James Version? 23. Who so keepeth his mouth and his tongue keepeth his soul from troubles. This is the, what you can do from today. You see, we are preaching the gospel here. Keep your mouth shut. Check whatever you speak. Might be dirty your soul. Jesus preached about this. He said, no, it's not what you eat that defiles you. And what comes from your heart? Be careful of evil thoughts. What you have uttered can defile you. So be careful, just mind about your soul. Today, mind about your soul. That boyfriend doesn't love you. Boyfriend, yeah, why are you right? If he doesn't respect you. I If he loves you, you will go to the family and marry. I will not speak with you before I marry. Brother, that girlfriend doesn't love you. But your girlfriend, yeah, why are you right? She loves your money. Tell her that you don't have money. She will run away. Can I tell you this? Don't force relationships. I told my wife, I said, here in Charis, I won't pray for marriage. When you start to have problems, maybe God doesn't want you to be together. If you see that with me, I will tell you that maybe God doesn't want you to be together. Do you want to separate? Are you ready? Do it if you want to do it now. No, you don't want. Okay, why are you not living right? Because it's useless to force things which are not from God. We are losing our souls. We to compromise. Try to live. I trust ourselves with the situations that are happening around us. us. And we forget God is watching us. I pray that today we don't compromise. We believe God as he is. I don't know if you are hearing me. All these things will run away. My spiritual father said to me, if you want to go forward, be careful of any scandal. Make sure that the, the name of God must be glorified. If you are preaching that way, leave it. Can I tell you the same? Mind about your soul from today. Live the life that God wants you to live. This, this God is faithful. His promises are yes and amen. Whatever he has spoken to your life will come to pass in your life. Right now you are in a process. 
the longer the preparation the bigger the ministry the longer the preparation the better the blessing you cannot mind about your situation don't have fear of what you are going through because you are blessed and you are blessed doesn't start outside it starts inside so tell yourself when devil tells you look at yourself where is your God say hey he who is unto me is greater than the one unto the world I have reached inside me I don't know if you are hearing me don't compromise yourself if you believe shout hallelujah hallelujah Ask your neighbor, are you a Christian? I want to stop there. Close your Bible. I want to stop. So long the Bible is